everybody, it's Gina. Um, I finally have completed uh, four of these large journals. I had showed those in a, in a video or two uh, previously that um, I've been trying to get these finished. I started these, gosh, back in October, <laughs> so it's taken me a long time. Um, so let's just get started. What I was going to explain about these, um, if you've purchased journals from me before, these are very different in that I've kept these relatively plain. And when I say plain, there are pockets, tuck spots, and belly bands, you know, placed throughout. But <clears throat> I've not done near the embellishing that I normally would do. And the other thing I would like to note is these are not themed. The closest one that comes to a theme is going to be this one right here um, because, and I would just briefly show you that I have used the kit here that is predominantly B. So that is the closest. Now, that, like I said, I've not done um, a lot of embellishing, but you can see I've, I've added fabric ruffles, tabs, um, but as I said, most of them have been a real eclectic mix, and this one is to a degree. Um, it's just that I did pretty much stick with um, these papers because I had them in my stash, and then I added some <coughs> of the plain ones that coordinated nicely with it. So I'm going to set this one to the side because I'm not going to go through every journal because as I said, they're all pretty much um, laid out the same and I just want to make sure that that is absolutely clear to you. So um, these two are Tim Holtz fabric. This is all done with the Nick Style Construction Journal making course. Beautiful fabrics. Um, I love Tim Holtz material and every chance I get to get my hands on it, I try to. But... Um, and then I've also got this one, which is just beautiful. It's got the um, roses and daisies on there. Uh, these are like coral and peach tones in that one. And I don't know if that's coming out on camera, so I do want to put that out. Um, and then, of course, this one, you guys know, I, I'm just so partial to this fabric. Um, it's a very vintage look to it. And as I said, this one's got a, a lot of bee papers inside, so do note that one. Um, so let's just get started. I'm going to go through this one. Um, no particular reason why, as I said, um, they are very plain in comparison to what I've sold in the past. So, um, I did want to, to point that out. I've still tried to add, you know, some things that are my style, which are the little clusters and papers are from a multitude of uh, designers, so I'm not going to even <clears throat> try to name everybody. I've got so many different um, papers, and I've just, like I said, this is a stash busting um, journals, so I've just put everything in here, so it is a complete um, eclectic mix of papers, um, tags from various that have been cut from various um, different um, scrapbooking papers. I've got some parchment paper. This they've all got a mix of white tea dye, coffee dye. I've got vintage. Um, I've got new. So um, this is for somebody who wants to take this journal. They want something already made up. That's tracing paper. And they just want to build upon it and do some um, journaling within. This is old uh, typewriter paper. As I said, it's a mix in all of them. But you, there are some common uh, themes. My papers, you know, I have tried to, to um, include some of my favorite uh, vintage book pages. This is really old notebook paper. And you can see um, <clears throat> they are huge. There are um, 200 plus pages in these journals and I've tried to fill them with um, a nice selection of tags and journaling cards so that you can either use in here or take them out and use them in another journal. Um, so I think they've <clears throat> they've been filled out pretty good. Like I said, I've not embellished them because that's left for the, the person who purchases them. 
um, but you can see these are old. These papers, uh, book pages, go back to early 1900s. Um, and then I've got some what I call like retro, which would be 50s, 60s. <clears throat> Paper uh, ruffles, fabric rustle, ruffles. I've also got um, fabric snippet tabs. I've got Edith Holden. You, you know. I mean, if you've followed me for very long, you know um, I like to do a, a real big mix in my journals. So, um, old music sheet. Uh, I done, I've not done any stenciling or stamping because, as I said, I wanted this to be a blank canvas for the recipient to just build upon. Um, there's a little belly band. Um, like I said, they're all done slightly different, but I have tried to um, include some of the same things. And uh, another little pocket there. So there you go. I will. I think that gives you a good idea. Um, front and back, I've added pockets to. And let's see. These are eight and a half by. One second. I should know this. I know I should know this, but I don't. <laughs> eight and a half by five and three quarter. Eight and a half, and then the spines are about two and a half inch spines. So. I'll let you see the, the inside of this one, front and back. Oh, I've got to glue that one down. And then, as I said, very, very similar inside. And this one, again, you've got the same components. It's just they're all placed a little bit differently. And then... Again, well, this one is more, um, you know, I've got more of the B papers within that. So, okay, guys, those are in my shop. And um, you will notice that I am working on, well, you'll see very soon. I hope to have an, uh, another journal coming out very soon. I've got um, a giveaway planned, so stay tuned for that. And again, there's going to be a lot of um, stash busting journals coming out um, that are going to be, they, there won't be any more of the tomes. That's what we call these, the Nick Book Smith course. There, this is the end of the tomes uh, for, I don't know for how long. It's I've been doing this now for, a couple of years and I need to move on from my own creativity so this will be the end of these but um, I am going to be doing a lot of the smaller one signature journals just as a clear out of old supplies old digitals um, just, just trying to get geared up for 2020 and um, some very new things coming so you guys check out my shop I'll put the link below um, I'm not on Etsy if you're new um, to my channel. <clears throat> I have my own website, so the link is in the description box. And if you're interested in these, go and check that out, because as I said, I will no longer be taking pre-orders for these, because that's the end of this um, this style journal um, for this, you know, for the foreseeable future. So I hope everybody's having a great week. Um, I will be back very soon with some more ideas and more journals to share. So you guys take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.